Okay, so the five day fast. Um, I did have a um, day by day video going, but I didn't like it. It was too rambly, um, it was a lot of times going off topic, and I just, I didn't want to deal. So uh, the first day, you know, there was the typical hunger pains, but it wasn't too bad. The second day actually wasn't as bad as the first day. Um, and anytime I felt hunger pains, I just would drink water and I'd be fine. Third day, however, got a little tough. Um, I'll tell you, going into it on Monday, I had a bit of a cold starting. This is the time of year uh, when I have my one of two colds a year. So um, I don't know if that made any difference, but I wasn't feeling very good in the first place. But whatever, you know, you suck it up and drive on on this challenge. Um, I was doing all right until about midday Wednesday. And midday Wednesday, I was feeling lethargic and all that, but I just kept drinking water. I wasn't doing much, so that helped. And I was hanging out over at friends where I could just sit on the couch all day and do nothing. Um, towards the end of the day, after falling asleep and waking up, falling asleep, waking up, um, and by the end of the day, I meant like late after I did my third short, um, things went downhill real quick. And water wasn't doing much to curb the hunger pains, but it was doing something. It just, as soon as I drink the water, it seemed like I'd have to get up and go pee, and then I would feel hungry again. Um, it wasn't until close to 11 o'clock at that night where I had stood up to go do something, I don't even know, um, and I just blacked right out. Wound up crawling over to my friend's uh, kitchen and realized what I was doing and got up and went back, grabbed my water, drank it, and was fine, sat back down on the couch. Uh, and shortly after that, it happened again. Uh, drank some water and I said, well, I'll just sleep it off and I'll be all right in the morning. Nope. Uh, early that morning, I want to say, I think it was like one-ish, quarter after one, I was actually awakened by the sensation of wanting to pass out. That's the best way I can describe that. Um, now, I've been dehydrated before. I know what that feeling is like. This, sim this was similar, but this was actually worse. Um, I drank some water and I, I felt like I was refreshed and good to go. So that's why I kind of chalked it up to being um, dehydration. But no sooner did I close my eyes, it felt like I was woke back up to the same sensation. I chugged the water and I wound up going to sleep. Uh, those were some pretty scary times. I'd never felt like that before. And, um, you know, I'm not doing this with the help of a doctor or some sort of team of people who know what's going on. I'm just doing it. Or I just did it, I guess, right? So Thursday morning, like normal morning, um, yeah, you can make fun of me for saying normal morning. By that, I meant like six ish, seven ish o'clock in the morning. Um, I woke up just feeling like doo doo. And I, the, the water wasn't helping. In fact, the water was, was actually getting on my nerves because it just, it was tasting terrible. It was the same water. I was just drinking water with electrolytes in it. Um, and uh, it just, I wound up making myself some bone broth with some celery chopped up in it. And that made a whole huge difference in my life. So I'm chalking this as a, chalking this up as a fail because I didn't stick with the water the full time. Um, had that, drank more water and I was fine for the rest of the day. And because it was a no-go, as far as I'm concerned, yesterday, um, today, obviously, you know, I've had to have something to eat. Um, so this is not something that I, you know, I thought about it, it, it earlier. I had said to a friend of mine that I wouldn't do this again, but I got to tell you, um, my pride's hurt. It's hurt bad because I know right up here, I could definitely do it. Um, I was really irritated the whole time, uh, making that bone broth, but at the same time, you know, this isn't about just the challenge. It's also about being healthy. And I'm no good if, uh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to be all melodramatic about it, but you know, I can't be healthy if I don't eat. So, um, some good news. Uh, number one, I didn't die. So there's that. 
two, I lost two inches off my waist, which was pretty good. And I lost, what did I have, six, seven pounds, seven pounds just from not eating for three and a half ish days. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What's the next step? Eat better. I don't know. Don't drink as much beer, do more exercise, that kind of thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's why I didn't post a short yesterday. I was, uh, was pretty beat up about it, um, embarrassed, but um, I put myself out here on YouTube saying this is what I was gonna do. So the right thing to do would be to uh, bring it full circle and let you know how it went. Didn't go the way that I was hoping. And to be honest, uh, yeah, my pride's a little hurt. If I could have made it till today, um, and just gotten through the rest of the day. Tomorrow would have been great. Although, now that I've uh, got something to do work-related tomorrow, it's probably good that I have a little bit more energy uh, starting today than had I started tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. I don't recommend this challenge without the help of some sort of medical professional that can be there, or at least some friends, you know? Um, at least somebody that uh, is going to be there to make sure you're drinking water and that there's food on standby in case uh, you don't make it. So, yeah. That's that. Um, standby for better videos about actual van life stuff. See ya.